So let me repeat what I said. It's important for us to know how to interpret if there are logs in our model. So I, 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 I said that there are four types. Yung linear, linear model, we know that already. Pag linear model, si y, wala lang. Linear lang siya, y lang siya, tapos si x, x lang din siya. Hindi sila nakalog without making any log transformations. When we have linear log, okay, si, ano, si, uh, si y, linear lang, and isa sa x nakalog. Okay, so kunyari, log uh, x, y is equal to b1 log x1. Okay, pag lumabas yung regression output yan, how do we interpret? So may iba na siya, hindi na siya parang linear model. Okay, so that's for linear log. And then meron tayong log linear. Pag log linear, si, yung dependent variable natin ang nakalog, tapos si x hindi nakalog. And then finally, yung log log model where both the y and the x are in log in log form. Okay? So, i-research mo muna, class, kung paano ini-interpret yun. Okay? And then, we uh, hopefully, I find the uh, file kasi sinamarize ko na yun. Okay? Alright. <clears throat> so, uh, nakalimutan ko sabihin sa inyo na i-run nyo na to, no? Okay, I'll give you a few minutes. Uh, Siyempre, kabubukas sila ng R nyo. No? So, wala pa din yung wage. Rinan ko na to. So, ito. Ito yung last time na ginawa natin. Nag-model L tayo. And then, nag-log tayo. No? Okay? When you transform your your data, linolog natin, sabi natin, uh, it's, it's uh, important to do this also. Linolog transform natin data natin. Especially, if the values are quite big. No? That way, nasa scale yung ano natin, nasa scale yung data natin. So, for example, uh, dito, okay, ito yung housing price. Okay, let me backtrack a bit here. Ito yung kinuha natin from Wooldridge. Ito H price to, ano, here. Okay, so kindly start from this, guys, using the uh, package Wooldridge. Then, dinownload natin si H price. <clears throat> okay. And then from there, from the H price, uh, di ba, we looked at, uh, nag, ano tayo, nag, uh, uh, so last time, diniscuss natin si polynomials, okay, si quadratics, we use the, either the uh, interaction, na uh, in-square natin yung variable, or we use yung poly, no? Poly. Uh, convenient si poly kasi sasabihin natin yung variable and then sasabihin natin kunyari 2 or 3. That means uh, up to uh, 3 degrees to, no? Uh, power 3. So ibig sabihin may rooms to the first power, rooms to the second power, and rooms to the third power. Okay, hold, hold on guys. Okay, so, and then, uh, ito, no? yung log na. So, ito guys, example ng ano to, no? Uh, ito, this is actually log linear. Technically, hindi siya log log kasi pag log log, lahat dapat ng mga ano natin, ng mga independent variables sa log. But I've seen some uh, consider this as log log. So iba naman log linear ang tawag nila dito. So uh, actually we couldn't care less. Ang importante doon yung how do we interpret itong itong result ng log nox. No? Kasi si dependent variable nakalog tapos si isang independent variable si nox nakalog din. Tapos ito naman si distance hindi nakalog Tapos si price nakalog. Ito yung log linear. No? Log linear to. Technically, ito yung log at saka log. Nakalog si dependent, nakalog din si independent. Okay, so if I run this, okay, 
Okay, so we get this output, no? Yan. Ang ulat para kasha. Give me kasha. Okay, so. All right. Uh, significant, significant. Significant lahat, no? Significant at, uh, at, ano, at 0 0.001 or at 0.1%. Yung mga parameters natin. So, let me just, uh, kunyari ito, how do we interpret this? Yung log nox na to, yung 0.09. Nakalog si Nox, nakalog din si ano si si Price. Okay? So uh, I'll leave that as an assignment, guys. Alamin niyo pa paano, pa paano i-interpret ng log Nox? Si distance pa paano? Hindi siya nakalog. Ang naka, nakalog yung dependent variable natin. So there are rules in in uh, in interpreting that. Okay? Now, uh, by the way, but before I forget, okay? So let me just introduce to you baka makalimutan ko no. Okay, let's uh, I'd like you to install a package. Hindi ko na install siya kasi install. Gagamitin niyo to sa research niyo guys. Install that package and then there's a package, there's a package called Appa table. Appa tables. Paki-install nga siya. And then i-library natin. <clears throat> Okay, and once you have done so, kindly, kindly chat. Baka makalimutan ko to para uh, masabi ko na sa inyo. Okay, once you're done, kindly chat. Yes, please. Let me let me also send ko sa inyo din yung brief <clears throat> introduction about this for your reference. <clears throat> Guys, kindly chat please kung okay na, kung na-load na. Okay, good. And then there are, ito, may tutorial dito. Okay, sige. I, I, ano na lang guys? Mm, open natin to. Okay, and then take a look at Ito, no? So correlation table, this gives us an APA format ng output. Okay, let's copy this regression. Ito, copy natin to clipboard and then ilagay natin dito sa ano natin, sa, sa R natin. Okay, control alt i control v Okay, mali. Wala, yan. Okay, so dito, Tanggalin ko na to, na library natin. So tatanggalin ko na to kasi may may model na tayo. And then Okay. Oops. So dito na lang our model is uh, model natin, model, ano, di ba? Model, model, model underscore. Okay, here. Oh, wait, sandali ah. Mali yata yung kinapi ko na, ano. Mukhang, 
Ah, tama ito. Ito nang kakatik. Control C. Let me repeat this. Control B. Okay. So this is the function APA that regression that table, and then you model na gusto mo yan na mod underscore L. You model natin yung regression model natin, and then uh, file name daw. Because this will this will be downloaded as a doc a word document. I call it table one, and then let's, let's assume that this is the first table, okay, table number one. Okay, so run this, and then it will generate a uh, a regression model class, a regression output in APA format. Okay, good. Thank you. Sa in APA format na to, no? Okay, yan. Table 1, kasi sabi ko table 1. Alright. Now, where do you find that? You'll find that under, sa downloads yun. No? Sana makita ko. Okay, bakit wala? Okay, paki-check nga guys sa download nyo kung may lumabas na document na table 1. Hindi na siya sa desktop. Sa download siya. Paki-chat nga guys kung yes or no. Kung may lumabas na word file. At wala. Dapat may lumabas. Chat please kung yes or no. None, sir. None. Bakit kaya? Right, let's check. Huh? Dapat may lalabas in Word file ganito guys. Eh? So that makes really the yung output nyo. Pwede nyo diretso sa ano yan. Sa 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 ano nyo, sa paper no nakaganyang ano na okay wala sa lahat Check na natin baka dito sa DB dependencies control C pero imposible. Solder packages. Nag-run to ilang beses ko nang ginagamit. I'm wondering why. May model L naman tayo. Tsaka andito yung result guys. Kaso ka lang, bakit hindi siya Okay, I repeated the process. And then dapat may lumabas siya sa downloads ng okay. Dapat may lumabas siya ng word file. Okay, sige. E, e, ano na lang natin, guys? Uh, sayang na-delete ko yung mga examples ko dati nito. Uh, Lumalabas naman yung answer, no? So this is what your table will look like. 
Kino nyo guys yung mga results na nakahana na two decimal places na. Then you have 95% confidence interval. Uh, ito yung correlation squared. Okay, tapos yung fit nyo. Andiyan yung R squared natin, 60%. Tapos, so, wait, ha? Pa, ito, parang ganito, guys, yung ano. Ganito yung lalabas sa word, eh. Yan. Tapos ito sa ilalim. And that should appear sa Word. As a Word file. Okay, sige guys. Uh, i Tulungan nyo akong ano, ano, hanapin kung bakit hindi lumalabas. But, uh, pag lumabas siya, in good form na siya. No? Tapos, it can be copied to your, kunyari, word yung ginagamit nyo. And then, yun yung regression output. Mas maganda siya kayo sa yung napaka, ano lang, napaka drag. At hindi APA format. Ito, APA format na ito. Meron bang ano? Meron sa inyong lumabas yung word file sa downloads? Meron ba naka-experience na ano? Or baka... Word dapat lalabas Type. Okay, wala. <clears throat> Okay, kaya hindi lumabas? Okay, anyway, sige. Uh, we will uh, we will keep on I'll keep on exploring. Tulungan niyo rin ako, guys, no? Na na-install niyo na naman yung ano eh, yung APA tables and it's a very convenient way to generate your ano. Kasi ang lalabas sa kanya yung pinakita ko sa inyo. Ito. Yan, ganyan siya, no? This is APA format. Tapos ito yung nasa taas table 1, tapos regression results. And then itong table na to, and then sa ilalim ito yung note na to. But it's a very, a very organized way. It's a very good way to uh, generate your regression output. Hindi lang regression, no? APA tables can also uh, generate in APA format yung correlation, etc. Okay. All right. So. Gusto ko lang balikan plus yung ano yung uh, kasi dati nag ano tayo dito eh, na dito sa model na to di ba we were we were attempting to answer yung additional ano ba yung additional na regressors statistically uh are significant uh, add statistically significant explanatory power in a regression model given all the other regressors for example Yung pagdagdag ba ng rooms, yung polynomial na rooms, yung rooms, tapos yung room squared, does it add to the explanatory power of our model? Nakakatulong ba siya? Okay. So we attempted to do this, di ba, last time? Dito ko na siya ilalagay. Okay. However, ano nangyari? Di ba, nag-e-error? Di ba? Guys, you recall that. Naalala yung ginamit natin si linear hypothesis class. Tapos galing kay model yan. Okay, tapos 
sabi natin ang ia ano ang uh, we were using the match coefficients no? so match coefs and then dun sa mod mod l and then anong variable rooms balikan lang natin to no? kasi i uh, i found out kung saan ako naggamali and i said this com comes from the car package car is comprehensive applied version uh, apparently guys hindi ko pa na ano hindi ko na na require si r si car kaya it did not run so when i checked again oops nagrana siya so i ano natin i require natin si car Alright, tapos, ira natin itong linear hypothesis from model L. Si model L, ito, di ba? Ito yung model L natin. And then, imamatch natin si coefficients, <clears throat> si rooms. Bali, itatest natin, ang null hypothesis natin dito, yung rooms, which, which is a polynomial, rooms at saka room squared, are all equal to zero. So that's what we're testing. So tinetest natin dito, h null natin. Rooms is equal to rooms squared, no? Is equal to zero. Ibig sabihin, hindi significant predictors tong dalawang to. Si rooms at saka rooms is equal to zero. Okay? Although sa regression lumalabas na, ano, <clears throat> na, di ba sa regression output natin dito, lumabas na si rooms at saka si rooms zero, they are significant, di ba? Yun, no? Rooms to the first power rooms to the second power. Okay, they are statistically significant. But we will just want to, ano, to parang segregate, isolate them. So using the linear hypothesis function from the car package, we use this uh, linear hypothesis then match coefficients. Tapos si room. Sige, i-run natin to. <clears throat> yeah, nag na siya, guys. Finally, nakita ko rin last time kasi I realized na uh, hindi ko pa pala nare-require si ano. Okay, hypothesis natin, si yung variable na polyrooms, yung 1, this is rooms to the first power, is equal to 0. Tapos rooms to the second power is equal to 0. Okay, so yung restricted model natin, remember ang restricted model natin, yung, yung walang, yung less yung predictors. No? Okay, so ibig sabihin tatanggalin si rooms at si rooms squared. That's our restricted model. And our model number two is that kasama sila. Kasama si rooms at saka si room squared. Okay. Our null hypothesis here is that the restricted model is better. Okay. Kung if we're looking at pars parsimony, mas maganda yung restricted model kasi mas konti yung inagamit natin na predictors para explain yung dependent variable natin. And our p-value is less than 0 0.05. And it means, guys, that we reject the null hypothesis that the, that the restricted model is better. True, the, in, the uh, use of rooms and room squared statistically are uh, statistically improved our explanatory power to explain yung log price. Okay? All right, class. <clears throat> clear? Okay, chat naman please, kung clear. Okay, good. Okay, last na. Last. Uh, I, I wanted to dismiss yung mga ano eh, 8.30 kanina or 8.45 para mapag-usapan yun. But sorry guys na. Kasi kailangan ko lang din tapusin to. Okay, so itong nabiti natin last week kasi I don't want to to uh, prolong this. Isa pa. Okay, there's another function. No? Yung ANOVA. Now, yung ANOVA, i-question mark natin. This is a Iba yung small a, ah. iba yung small a na ANOVA, iba yung big A. <clears throat> so ANOVA for various statistical models. Now actually there are three types. No? Tatlong types ng ANOVA. <clears throat> okay, you can just check it here. Yan, ANOVA tables for various statistical models. Okay, so I, I'll uh, leave you to uh, read through this. So, maraming klase yung ANOVA, no? May type 1, type 2, type 3. Ang pinaka-useful sa atin yung type 2. So hindi na natin, I, I will leave you to try to discover ano yung type 1 at saka, 
at saka type ano type uh, 3 okay so type 2 uh, gagamitin natin type 2 type 2 ng ANOVA no oops mali okay so uh, let's now run ANOVA and then mod so, kunin natin ANOVA ng regression model natin, model L. Okay, so run this. Nakayang ko lang yung... Okay, take a look at this. Alright. <clears throat> so, itong ANOVA table, yung type 2 test na to, no? which is the default. Default siya kasi dito sa ano... Ito, yung syntax type, you have to type either 2 or 3 or two, number 2 or 3. No? Pareho lang yan. So, hindi natin linagay na type si type 2, di ba? Pero ang complete yan, pwede natin lagay type. Uh, type is equal to 2. No? So, if we run this, ito yung kakalabasan. If we run 3, so may counting difference dun sa, ano, no? sa result type 3 test. No? Tapos if we type yung 1, okay, ang di pa pwedeng 1 dito. Okay. So type 2 tayo. Sorry. Alright. So what does this give us, yung type 2 test na to? pinapakita dito class yung ano yung yung kino-compare niya yung relevance ng mga predictors natin. So ito sum squared of the deviations na ine-explain ng variable na. So tingnan niyo si log nok 6.36. Ito yung uh, yung sum of the squares uh, na kaya niyang i-explain kay log price, kay price, no? And if you notice si, si rooms, polynomial na rooms, siya yung pinakamalaki. 14.227. Siya yung pinaka, pinakamalaking kayang i-explain. So among the regressors, ito yung pinakamaganda, si rooms. Kasi it, it has the highest explanatory power. Okay? So very convenient tong ANOVA table na to. Okay? Uh, especially if you're trying to compare yung ano, yung yung explanatory power ng mga variables. Okay? So I just wanted to point out, point that out to you. Just pinakita rin natin yung linear hypothesis and the uh, ANOVA. Okay? So, uh, alright, that ends our discussion. On uh, on Friday, ang gagawin natin, uh, let me see, inisip ko pa kung mag-logistic regression pa tayo or, ay, hindi pa pala, hindi pa tayo pwede mag-logistic regression Kasi meron pa tayong interaction na hindi pa na ano na discuss Kunyari, i-multiply natin si rooms. Example lang to ha. Rooms times. Example lang. Rooms times. Kunyari lang. Nox. Kasi pwedeng gawin yung ganyan. No? Nag-i-interact natin si dalawang dependent variables. So pag ganyan, pag may interaction, what do we do? So we'll uh, discuss that this coming Friday. Alright? Let me stop recording now.